The Washington football team has been pretty busy the past 48 hours, signing a quarterback in Ryan Fitzpatrick, a cornerback in William Jackson III, and tonight inked wide receiver Curtis Samuel to a three-year deal worth $34.5 million. Samuel and Terry McLaurin were teammates at Ohio State. Samuel was drafted by the Carolina Panthers in 2017, and now he's rejoining Coach Ron Rivera here in Washington. But after 11 seasons, the Washington football team released veteran long snapper Nick Sunberg. Today, a leader on the field and a champion in the D.C. community, Sunberg created the Loads of Love program aimed at making sure kids have clean clothes by putting washers and dryers in schools and homeless shelters. The program has helped kids in nearly 100 schools throughout the DMV. The NFL Draft is just six short weeks away, and former University of Maryland running back Jake Funk is hoping to hear his name called. He recently impressed NFL scouts at Maryland's Pro Day and is looking to make his NFL dreams a reality. It was a day that I've looked forward to my whole entire career. Um, you know, I was able to go out there and show, uh, show that I'm athletic and that I'm a lot more than people think that I am. The 2020 season almost didn't happen for Maryland. COVID swept through the Terps program, and Jake also suffered from the virus. Even though our season was shortened, um, you know, I was able to take advantage of every opportunity that was given to me, um, and it gave me the opportunity to be here today. Jake has battled through much adversity in his college career, having gone through two ACL surgeries. But when it came time for this former Damascus High School star to show NFL scouts what he's capable of, Jake says he wasn't nervous, was somewhat excited, but mostly felt anger. More just angry than anything, um, you know, because, you know, I've been told for the last five years of my life that I wasn't good enough for, for this game, for this team, um, that I wasn't good enough to play at this level um, by media, by, you know, people in general. And, and I knew it, like, in my heart that I was good enough. And it's something that I just continued to um, Proved to myself, and you know, proved to myself that I was right. Well, looking forward to seeing what the future holds for Jake. The NFL draft gets underway on April 29th.